Okay, so um, thank you again for joining. Um, you're here on the Military Guna channel. Um, <laughs> definitely, uh, it's been a dull day, actually, but I've gotten some good news and uh, relatively some bad news. Um, it's not no massive news, but it's quite critical to the football development of the country. So um, we're, we're going to speak about the two names that you're seeing right here, uh, Martin Davis and Norman Campbell. Now, these two guys are two of our youngsters. Um, and they're out and about trying to get themselves recognized on the big stage. Now, guys, please remember to smash that like button and also subscribe to the Military Guna TV where I give you content like these. Now, I'm going to bring up, um, well, I'm going to screen share um, both players. Now, um, hopefully, guys are seeing what I have on my screen. <laughs> I'm hoping that you do. So, we have two players that I believe that um, I do believe that these two players are they are trying to put themselves on the larger scale of things in accordance to world football I will put that put it as world football so for example um, Martin Davis um, in Europe in Europe I would I would refer to that and in Europe now we have a serious problem in, a, in accordance so youth development in our country developing the young players now also the transition for the young players to move from um the youth team onto the first team we had a serious problem in, in accordance in accordance with that now we went to so much world cup um with the youth team under 17 but yet still we have yet to see the transition from that stage to the first team stage. Now we're looking at a World Cup campaign coming up quite soon. And we want to factor in every possible factor in accordance to how we want to develop the country footballing aspect. Let's say, for example, we want to integrate some of the young players that we know or we're likely to see in the future maybe 2022 maybe 2026 world cup um into oh, we're going to integrate these players into the team no no um that has been a serious condition a serious issue for the football in jamaica for such a long time i'm talking about years of development years of poor planning um years of unprofessionalism into the arc in the organization and I believe that it is now the time for us to move away from that and try to significantly better what we want to do. How are we going to do that? As I said from the, at the beginning of the show, into the integration of youth, the integration of youth, get some of these young players who are playing, who are playing, I would say, in Europe. And at the highest level let's get some of these young players who are playing at the highest level to incorporate in the team incorporate these youngsters in the team now we might look at it and say that um how are we going to do that how can we incorporate these players in the team that's solely down to the coach you have so much young talented players playing all over the world now that boils down to the organization and the coach it is the organization responsibility to have a scouting network to see these young players it is the organizational responsibility to choose the right players create that um platform i would say platform um maybe a docket like <laughs> uh, 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 how could i put it now you need a system of players. Like, I, I, I want to structure it in the right way. I want to structure it in the right way. Like, you have a dossier of a part of numerous amount of players. I think most of you right now are listening are, are saying the right word, but it's just, it's, not, it's, just, it's just not coming to me right now. But you have a dossier of every single one of these players. How well these players are doing. Which one of these players you think you can integrate into the team? This is, a, this, is, this is the way in which we believe that we can 
utilize some of these young players. Now, moving forward, I believe that these players are players that we have to consider looking at and think about what they have to offer, what these players will offer us. Now, at this particular time, let's look at... Um, let's look at... Martin Davis, young, talented youngster playing at um, Gizara. Yes, at Gizara United. He was playing in the Europa Conference League qualif qualifiers. I'm not saying that he's the best team. I'm not saying that it's a top team or best team across the world. No, we have to keep these players at check. We have to nurture these players. Because if we want to say we have a successful program, some of these players are the players that we should be looking at going forward. It's unfortunate that his team got knocked out today, unfortunately, and they didn't make it into the Europa Conference League group stages. But they played in the qualifiers. He made an account, a strong account for himself. Now, let's move to the next player, which is Norman Campbell. Norman Campbell, why did they have not why did they have normal there? That is that is typing error or autocorrect. I thought it's autocorrect. But anyways, Norman Campbell teams team qualified for the group stages of the Europa Conference League. His team, FK, um Kyariki, or Kukariki, they qualified for the group stages. Now Norman Campbell will be playing in the group stages. His team is playing the Slovakian League. Now, how can we think about these players? How can we look forward to integrate these players into the first team? Now, first thing first, we have to identify these players. We have to identify what these players are doing and identify how will these players benefit what we are doing. If we don't do that, at a early stage, will eventually lose the. How could I put it now? Would I, could, I, could I say free will? <laughs> could I say free will? But we will definitely lose these players. We will lose these players because we did not nurture their career properly. We did not try to integrate these players into the first team. And we cannot continue like this. We cannot continue like this. We saw we are top of it more, or maybe I'm not sure who it is. They tried integrating players such as Tyre McGee, Lamar Walker, but obviously it's not working. These players now are playing at a very, very good level, a significantly high level. And I strongly believe that these players have what it takes to provide something extra in what we want to do. I strongly believe that these players have what it takes. No, it's just all down to what um, the JFF and the coach plan to do. So congratulations, Norman Campbell, in qualifying for the group stages of the Europa Conference League. I will definitely keep a strong check on your career and what you're doing in that group so far. So JFF, Tapa Whitmore, please be considerate and look at these players. These players are putting out their hall. These players are playing at a very, very high level. So I think these players are no time. It is no time that these players are con are con how could I put it on? Um, these players are now to be considered to be integrated into the first team. So congratulations again, Norman Campbell. Very well tried. Um Martin Davis. And I hopefully hope that you guys stick to the work that you're doing. Continue putting the hard work. And definitely, you guys will see this. You reap the success from that. So, um, thank you very much again, people. We have to think about these players. We have to look at these players. It is important that we look at these players. Thank you very much again, people, for tuning in and spread the word about these players. They are doing really, really well, and we want to see them progress um, further into their career. Uh, Military Guna TV people. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this show. It was just a short one, speaking about two player, nothing big, but hopefully, you guys enjoy the show. Massive respect to everyone. Continue to tune in. And remember, guys, um, the YouTube algorithm is messing about. And definitely, um, we want to fix that. 
So smash the like button to help the YouTube algorithm. A lot of people are not getting the videos. So it's coming out now, people. Big up. Massive respect.